Okay, can I take you through this, right? And also the reasons why MK Party withdrew uh, the case from uh, the case from e IEC, look, oh, sorry, Electoral Court, not IEC, right? So we're gonna have to go through that. Uh, but the most interesting part to you is gonna be the reasons why MK Party decided to take the case away, look, uh, look to take the case from e IEC. That's gonna be the most interesting thing to you, right? So, um. Uh, Tulu Incorporated, Incorporated Attorney, uh, the, the ones that were behind that. Now, on the 3rd of July, 2024, they issued something, right? The heading says, um, controversies were less Electoral Commission of South Africa and others. It says, we confirm, we confirm that today, the 3rd, of, the 3rd of July, 2024, our client, MK Party, delivered a notice to the electoral uh, court withdrawing its application our number two our client initiated the application to challenge the conduct of independent electoral commission iec to declare the result of the national and provincial elections to be local to be credible free and fair right three three mk party believes that the elections were either free fair or credible for a number of reasons including failure by the IEC to perform credible forensic audit of its own election system now these are the reasons that are the local, local so far you are given these reasons that these are the reasons why MK party concluded or arrived at its conclusion you said okay interesting but I think it's more than that. I think it's just more than what you are seeing and what you are hearing. Well, what are you seeing and what are you hearing, you ask? Don't worry. The reasons why they had to withdraw the application is the most interesting part out of everything, which I think you have to listen to this video until the end. You, because I myself... To be quite honest, I wasn't happy when they withdrew this. But at the same time, I know that hey, you are dealing with MK here. Uh, they always think, they always, you know, these are people that are not lazy to think. MK people, the people who are in the background there, those people are not lazy to think. So I was like, mm, maybe there's a reason that I don't know. But I will tell you the truth. I was not happy because I was looking forward to see them arguing this in court unfortunately it did not see that look at the light of the day so since it did not see the light of the day let's find out the reasons why but before we can find out the reasons why well let's ask a question why don't you do this if you are not yet subscribed what are you waiting for come on good people because to subscribe it is free to like the video it is free to comment in the comment section below it is free of charge to click the notification bell it is free of charge to share this video it is free of charge to watch this video until the end it is free of charge also good people i mean come on to watch the ads it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the Super Thanks Party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed now now that you have done doing what you're supposed to do let's go to number four it says after uh filling its application to set aside the allocate look at the election results the iec and its newly found ally the democratic alliance da filed an answering affidavit from which it look from which it is clear that the IEC wishes to have the matter dismissed as a local, as agent as it declared the result based on largely technicalities. Five, the MK party has evidence of election irregularities. We have, look, however, advised our client that, the, look, that these are procedural 
and technical issues that needs to be compiled with look with, with to uh, present such evidence before before the application can be adjudicated upon the court okay then they say let's wait uh that was five fang it six it look it will be recalled that our client sought a directive from the uh, from the electoral court on a number of issues it believe will will look will enable the failure adjudication of its application seven the electoral court has not given any further direction uh, look other than those relating to the filing of papers in other words in the absence of any directive reg look, regulating the further conduct of the matter which we accept entirely the direction of the court the mk party has decided that the matter should be withdrawn eight the withdrawal is no way an admission that our client does not have the compelling case for the uh, look for for the orders it seeks look it seeks the contrary is true nine the experts that are being engaged by our client continue to uncover further evidence of election ir ir irregularities that is so serious and it will uh, it will be reckless to risk the application by being dismissed on the basis of IEC technical objection. 10. The MK party expect require time to prepare comprehensive report uh, compre comprehensive report in look, uh, involving a thorough assessment of the IEC uh, results. 11. In the in the circumstances uh, uh, 10. in the circumstances and to ensure that all evidence is look, all evidence all all evidence in the position of MK party is presented before court in a manner that enable a fair adjudication of the matter. We have advised that the application should be withdrawn for now. Furthermore, the evidence contained in the IEC answering affidavit, particular in respect of incident where for an approximately two hours, st starting from 6.30 to 6.30 on the 31st of May 2024, the leaderboard on the result operations center and the online result dashboard crashed. Raise more questions about IEC conduct of the elections. 13. According to the interest of, look, according to the Accordingly, in the interest of transparency, for the sake of its own credibility, the IEC must still provide answers to questions which include the following. 13.1. How and why and when was the decision taken to make the update that resulted in the down, local downtime? And by who? By whom? 13.2. What what look? What are the details of the risk benefit analysis carried out uh, to authorize the update? Three, what portfolio what portfolio of evidence exists surrounding the look the, the the cause of the downtime? Oh my God! So we now know that yes, the application is withdrawn, but it can be brought back. That's something that. So they are saying, don't celebrate yet to all those enemies. Please, not, not yet. Relax. We will, look, we still have a long journey here. Together, we still have a long journey. So, do not celebrate yet. The case might be brought back. Somebody once also um, gave, sought to give a bit of a clarity on this matter and say, uh, I've, been literally, I've, been, I've, I've been internally informed that the case was not withdrawn, but provisionally withdrawn because of the, uh, look at the, the, the presidency set by the Constitutional Court ruling on MK's agent interdict against the parliament of, or look, or holding its first sitting. Or oh, look, one of the one of the reasons the Constitutional Court dismissed MK's case is because the final respondent uh, of the twenty-two parties was look started wrong, stated wrongly, uh, look in the MK's court papers. The Constitutional Court ruled that each correspondent must be uh, uh, specified um, separately, uh, naming each political party not together as just 
22 parties. So that means, as you can see here, the the the, the max uh, okay the the MK papers uh, state 22 political parties. Remember, this case was filed before the Constitutional Court agent interdict. So the look, so once the Constitutional Court makes a ruling, then all the lower courts, including the Electoral Court, must follow the Constitutional Court ruling. So the MK. So the MK has all the law. Uh, look, the MK uh, has the pro has provisionally withdraw its court papers. Will resubmit them once they have made the necessary cor look, corrections by specifically naming by specifically naming each uh, look, respondent. Because if they don't, they don't make these uh, corrections, then the electoral court will have to dismiss MK's case on this technicality the media is only telling half of the matter in actual fact the case has been provincially provincially withdraw withdrawn to make corrections and resubmit the paper so there you have it if you think that mina was depriving you information well i'm not that type of a selfish guy that deprives you information what is this you know so it's not me it's you not me i'm joking <laughs> i'm joking but nevertheless yeah um basically we know for a fact as of now that the case is gonna go back to court we just i'm just i'm just worried as to you know what i'm saying uh, I'm just worried as to when are we going to see this and you know what I'm saying? What's going to happen? I can't wait for such a time where, you know what I'm saying? Eh, we see this being argued in court. Why am I so enthusiastic about it? It's because there's an evidence that I've seen being demonstrated by MK party uh, on social media. You know, I know you'll say, but on social media, yes, uh, I, I've seen it on social media. Elections were happening also on social media, by the way. So things, the results, we were watching it, we were watching it on social media. So you can't tell me that just because I saw an evidence on social media, therefore that evidence is invalid. No, it's actually more than valid, right? So I've seen quite a number of evidence that I've seen there. It's very stunning, astonishing evidence. So it would have been, uh, um, it would have been. Uh, what, what can I say? It, it wouldn't have sat well with me if, for instance, they will decide that we, we don't pursue this. But, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, I'm not the applicant in this whole scenario. So, since I'm not the applicant, so what shall I then say if these things are so? Right. There's definitely nothing that I can say if these things are so. Yeah. I know you say, Bongs, but now, what shall I then say? You know what I'm saying? What are you saying? I'm, I mean, I mean, on the basis of evidence that you have seen on social media and the arrogance of uh, of e, e IEC, do you even believe that the IEC have got a case here? Because even now they have just attacked the technicality of the matter, right? And since they, since they have attacked the technicality of the matter, they have not attacked this. Now, pay attention to the questions that are being asked. That no, even if this case was not to go to, even if this case was not going to be adjudicated in a court of law, right? But you still have to answer as to why. Why didn't you, or why, why did this happen? Why did this happen? You know what I'm saying? You still have to give answers. At the end of the day, if you want people to trust you, then you've got to give answers. You really don't have a choice. For me, from the elections that I've seen, um, honestly, guys, I will be happy to get those answers from IEC because you can't tell us that you were conducting free and fair elections. Uh, you know what I'm saying? F the elections were free and fair. Well, who determines whether the elections were free and fair? Isn't the people that are supposed to be watching the elections? Isn't the people that are supposed to be the recipients of the elections, right? Such as the citizens. You can't be told by the, the service provider that it was free and fair. Uh -uh. The service provider must be told by those whom he's servicing that, Aika, your service is good. But IEC decided to do the contrary, telling people that... You know what I'm saying? The elections were free and fair, despite what people have seen. Well, speaking about free and fair, a lot of people, according to free and fair elections, um, expect that the, the, the IEC will not turn them away, especially those who are in the queue. But they were turned away, turned away by people on the local, who are IEC officials. Whilst on the queue, you still want to argue the elections were free and fair. I still want to ask you, what is free and fair then? If free and fair does not involve people, you know, participating in this free and fair, then what is free and fair? 
You know what I'm saying? That's the question that I've got to ask you. What is free and fair? If people does not participate here, free and fair. Oh, my daughter.